So hi all, it's uh, Skip from Skip's Messy Workbench and um, I wasn't going to do another update on the USAC build but I decided to do it anyway since I ran into another, uh, not a problem, but another sticky situation or situation as you would say. Um, so I made, I made progress since the last update that I made. I had the engine almost finished. Um, I, I, you could see I just took the shine off of the, the body and I just have things taped together. You can see I also built the roof racks that will be on the truck and um, the ladder will be situated on there as the, like that. And I also am going to put a, one of those round uh, storage tubes on it like you sometimes see on a plumbing truck. So um, that's, coming, that's coming along really nicely. The, uh, I had a problem with the motor mounts and I uh, was watching the uh, Brian over at BG, Mr. BG, and he was having a problem also, but he solved his problem. Uh, and uh, actually I have two. Uh, but by solving my engine mount problem, I actually created another problem. And I see something that just happened that's not good. <laughs> anyway, um, because I think, anyway, I can see that the alternator has torn free. The, the pulley came off of it and okay the belt is still in there anyway what i found and I, I that's an easy fix it's just that the uh the glue broke free and you know i'm gonna kind of go off on a tangent here i well let me pull the engine out of here first of all i'm sorry for for doing it but first of all once i had i, I put a pulley kit on the engine and once i did that what happened was that, um, let me just grab something here at the point with, um, yeah, that'll work. What happened was that now I don't have enough clearance between the fan and the, the front to, to install the radiator. So, I, I thought about taking the radiator and putting it in the front or chopping some of this out, but that's really not going to work either. So I put this down last night after finding that and um, I determined that I'm going to have to scratch build a radiator. Um, I went out to... Uh, Mark Batson's channel, Hobby Do 007, because I know he had scratch built some radiators. Um, it's it's actually a fairly easy job, but I'm going to mount a radiator in between the here, and I'm going to make it a cross flow type. I call them I call them a horizontal flow, but they're I know they're called cross flows. So the tanks will be on the sides instead of on the top and bottom. That will give me enough room in here, barely, to have a radiator inside of this. So that's where that is. Let me pull the engine out of here. I just have it setting in there and taped in there. Now, what I did notice that I just said now is that, come here. <laughs> I did use a pulley kit. Let me take this pulley off of here because this pulled out of the alternator. So I'm going to just take that and set that aside so I don't lose it. And the, naturally, because of that, the fan belt came off. All right, so let me set that aside here. So I did put a pulley kit on a pulley kit on this 
engine because I had never done that before, and I and I wanted to do that, and it works out really nice. This is this is just my own fault here, um, and I am going to wire this yet. I have the wires cut and everything for it already, um, and I do have the uh, air cleaner ready to get mounted. It's just not mounted on there yet, so. Here's the, here's the air cleaner, and I'm using the air cleaner off of the Ford engine that came with the kit. And this is naturally the uh, Hemi engine that came with the 71 Cuda kit. So that'll be on there. So anyway, this engine is basically finished except for the wiring, and now I gotta fix that. But I had a problem with the mounting of the engine. So, I went through a couple of variations of mounting. So here's a, here's a frame from this uh, 56 Ford. And what I had to do to fit that Hemi in there was to cut the engine mounts out at, of the sides here, and then to also cut this front support piece out. So I cut all that stuff out. I'm thinking I'm going to have to figure out another way to make an engine mount on there. So um, I watched Mr. BG's and I, you know, I watched a couple of other people um, and I kind of took ideas from both of them, from everybody. But this is the chassis that came with the 71 Plymouth Cuda where I got the engine from, and you can see that the, um, now what did I do with that pointer? Um, and you can see, <laughs> you can see that the engine mounts on here look like this. And I thought, you know, maybe I'll just take these engine mounts out of here and put them in the Ford. Well, that wasn't going to be an easy task either, and I, and I actually didn't want to damage this chassis because I, I want to build this CUDA yet. So I did build my own engine mounts um, and got them in there. So let me take this frame out of here. I have it taped in at this point. So let me just take this out of here. Do, 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 do. Okay, we'll take that piece off. This tape only sticks when you don't want it to stick. No, that's not true. Tamiya tape is really good. because I really got it stuck down while I was getting things sized up. Uh, oh, and I got one more here yet. Okay. You notice I did the floor pan here in gunmetal. Kind of a little different. All right. So what I did, and you can see on here now that I had those cut out. I'm sorry guys. I'm a I'm a mess today. I shouldn't I probably shouldn't have done this today, but I'm here. Anyway, so you can see I took all that engine mounts out and I had originally just put a cross member in this position. But then it sat on the oil pan. When you put it in, it would sit on the oil pan. So, I made my own engine mounts here. And all I did was I took some channel, I took some eighth inch channel, and that's what this is up here. This is eighth inch channel. And that's 0.1, this is 0.1 square stock. And I just glued them on, found the location for the engine mounts. And that's on this engine is right here. And it worked out really well. I'm, I just, the point one was enough of a rise along with the channel to give me the, the, the right height. Um, 
There are about 12 millimeters from frame in on each side. So it worked out well. I got lucky with the engine mounts. They worked out really well and it was a, an actually very easy, uh, an easy fix to get new engine mounts in there. And you know, I, I, I thought of it while I was doing it because I struggled for a couple of days thinking about how am I gonna mount this engine without having it sit on the oil pan, you know, and I kept thinking of a sign that an engineer I used to work with had in his office where it read, the impossible we do immediately, miracles, eh, they take a little longer. And so I guess this was the impossible or because we, I, or I should say it was a miracle because it took a little longer. So anyway, that's, that's that. I'm actually, I, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I've got just a lot of painting to do and uh, that, that's okay. And now I got to fix this thing. But what I wanted to do, I went off on a tangent there. I, in order to fit these pulleys in, I had to redrill the engine and do a little bit of drilling on the, on the alternator. But I also had to close up a hole. So I tried some of this Tamiya, this Tamiya putty, epoxy putty, and I, uh, I put it in the holes and it never hardened. And it's, I mean, it's a brand new box. I don't know how long it was on the person's shelf, but um, that's why that pulley fell out of there because the putty never hardened. So I'll, I'll get that fixed, but I just, if, you know, if somebody knows the trick to using this stuff, um, let me know because um, everything's in Japanese or in Chinese, so I couldn't read that except for this bottom line here. Um, and it's just, you know, it's, it's just stick putty. So I think I already know what the problem is. It was probably supposed to be a two part and I only used one. Anyway, that's probably what the problem is. So that's why that fell off of there. The, uh, the putty just never hardened. <clears throat> and, um, so we'll get that fixed. And, um, you probably won't hear me hear from me again until to the end. I'm I'm really pushing hard to make that um, to make the, the uh, January 14th deadline, and I think I can make it as long as I don't run into any of the problems. For the radiator, I did order some radiator grill from Model Car Garage. Um, so that should be here in a day or two. I should be able to make it. We'll see. As long as I, the paint job doesn't get screwed up on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm rambling on and I'm kind of stuttering a little bit here. So, like I said, I wasn't planning on making this video, but I figured what the heck, I'll do it anyway. Oh, another thing is when I do get that radiator in, I may have to take this nose, and I already have this painted white. It's actually a, a, a white gray. I may have to cut or indent the back side of this a little bit to make it fit against the, the radiator. Uh, we'll see when I get there. All right, so anyway, I'm rambling on. This is a horrible video, I apologize. Uh, it's worse than most of mine, <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'm going to close it out here. And I hope you ever, I hope everybody had a nice holiday. And I will see you guys uh, next year because today is the 30th of December. Yes, today's the 30th. So I'll see you next year. And um, I guess that's all I have to say. Again, sorry I'm rambling. Sorry I wasn't well prepared for this one, but it is what it is. <laughs> so, um, see you all later. Hey, hit that like button. Get my thumb in the camera there. Hit, the, hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, I appreciate everybody. All right. Hey, I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.